And follow me is a Huawei MediaPad M5 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So jumping straight to it, we're gonna go into the uh, home screen and the wallpaper to change the way lock, I mean, home screen looks like. So as you can see by the default, it resembles more an Apple device with all the icons in the middle and without any kind of like app drawer of any sorts. So anything you install will be always placed on the home screen and just keep adding a new pages. And to change it and set a app drawer, all you need to do is go into the settings and then home screen wallpaper. And from here, you'll see home screen style, which is set to standard. And all you need to do is select drawer and you'll see it minimize. And now you have the app drawer right here. You can tap on it and then have the all the apps. Now, mind you that whatever has been on this home screen, you will need to now remove manually before it's like only visible here. So yeah, but everything new that you install will be always placed in the apps and not on the home screen. So moving on, we're gonna go into the private space, which basically will create a secondary space, which is completely independent from the one that we're using right now. So whatever you would install on the secondary space will only stay there and will only be accessible and visible on that secondary space and vice versa. So anything that is installed here will not be accessible on the other space. So to enable it, all you need to do is go into the settings, then we'll go into security and privacy. And from here, we'll find private space right here. And when you tap on enable, you just set up passcode for this space, the current one, assuming you don't have one set at the moment, which I don't. Uh, so you basically set it up once, then confirm it the second time, and then set another passcode for the secondary space and do it the same way put in once and then confirm the code once more. And whenever you're on a lock screen, then depending on what code you use, it will then log in you, log you in into the space that is associated with that pin. And on the topic of kind of like protecting and uh, basically different spaces, you also have file safe, which if you go in here, only it's only accessible through settings, unfortunately. And I already have it set as you can see. And once you put in the password that you have set, which at the beginning, if you try to access it, like basically the same way, you will have to put in the password and confirm it. And from here, you will have different categories. So files, videos, audio, and images. And as an example, I took a photo, which is protected now. And if I go into the gallery app, you can see that there's nothing here. So it's fully empty. And if I go back into the file save, and Yes, log into it again. You can see that there is actually an image which is completely hidden and only accessible once you put in the password. And if you want to add more, um, once you tap on the specific area that you want, whatever you want to add, you would either tap on add if it's nothing there and then select what you want to add. Or if you already have a file, you can then, like I have right now, you just tap this thing here and you can then choose. And I'll actually put that as an example, I'll take a photo, another one. And if I go into the settings, back here. Yeah, then I go back into the images and tap button here. You can see that there is now a camera and one photo. So I can just tap on it and then select it. And again, tap on this arrow here. And you can see now there are two images that are protected. And if I go back to the gallery app, again, the gallery app will be completely empty because this file is accessible only with a password and it's not visible here. Yeah. So moving on, we're going to go into the gesture navigation, which is accessible through settings and then system. And you will see system navigation right here. And you have a couple different ones, as you can see. Actually, fairly decent amount of them. So you have gestures. I have off-screen navigation key, which is this button here, which basically acts the same way. Just press it, hold it, or swipe it to basically perform all the, all the tasks. Single key navigation. So this is the Google version, as you can see. Then you have the three key navigation, which is what we had. Navigation back just creates a 
kind of circle which also acts basically as this button but it's a virtual on a screen but let's go into the gestures and you'll have a little animation of each gesture how to use it you can scroll through it so you have pull up to close swipe swipe from sides to basically go back and then swipe up to go to home screen and from the sides to access google and as an example just gonna go back let's enable it and now go back as you can see this thing appears on the side I try to drag so if i do this it just goes back one back same as the on the other side then you have swipe and hold all the recent apps and then just swipe up quickly to close so it's a fairly nice way and most of the phones now use that anyway so moving on we're gonna go into the split screen apps and uh, there's i guess only one way that i found unless it has knuckles which i haven't tried but it doesn't look like it so basically what you can do is for instance i'm gonna open up youtube then close it and uh, open up Chrome and now if I say go back to this make it a main page scroll up and then actually, let's do this Not what I wanted so let me try that okay so you have this button here creates a split screen and then you choose another one like so and then you can, for instance, watch something right here while con continuing to do something else on a different screen. So I think it might work a little bit better in this way. And sometimes when you try to open it, it's, it can also work the way I try to do it. So, geez. Um, so sometimes when you try to open up open this up by just tapping on here it will either show you recent apps that are already open or like an app panel basically with all the apps that you can open at the moment like i had when i tried it okay so that would be basically all the tweaks and tricks that i wanted to share with you and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching